Hello world, you're welcome to EABRT services. And this tutorial is going to be a continuation of the MTN Momo API series. In this tutorial, we are going to look at the disbursement product. Now, as we said earlier in the introductory series, so that the disbursement is a service that enables mobile money partners to send money in bulk to different recipients with just one click. So before we can actually use this, let's look at some of the things that it requires. We, this API requires Go Authentication 2. The API that we're going to use is a validate account holder balance and then the transfer. Okay, before we can use this disbursement product API, we need to first subscribe to that product. So I have the link here, so I'll quickly open. Okay, so I've opened the subscribe to product where it takes it to the disbursement. So this is a description for the disbursement collection API. And I'm going to maintain the subscription name uh, automatically deposit fund to multiple users. I'll just maintain and then by subscribing, or you have to read the terms of use and then you confirm if you agree. And then I'll go ahead and confirm. And now I've created I've subscribed to the disbursement product. Let's look for where it is. Disbursement, the one that we just subscribed, and we have our we have our primary key and then the secondary key here. So let's quickly um, open our postman and then get started all right so we need to first of all create the user and in order to create a user we need to use the x reference id uh, we need to create a new user because when we are going to uh when we are going to create the user we need to use the subscription key for that uh collection or for that product and that is the reason why we need to do that if you look over here when you check the create api user and you check the header you have the subscription key for that particular uh, product for that particular product and that is the reason why we need to create a new user all right so first of all i'm going to generate the uuid i already have api here i'll just click on it so i've generated a new uuid and then in the create api user i'll put it in the x reference id I'm pasting it over here and we need the subscription key if we go back to where we have our collection this is disbursement so i'll use the, the primary key uh i actually prefer using the secondary key but you know you are seeing this because this is just for um demonstration purpose i'll just delete them afterwards so i'll just go back quickly and paste it here so we create a user for this kind of collection and the content type supposed application JSON and then the URL which I'm going to take a URL go back URL from website then I'll quickly go back to the postman and then replace it with what we have over here and then um, we have to check here authorization we don't need to inherit any authorization this post does not require any uh authentication so we have to make sure we use no auth okay so check the body we have the content type application json we have the s reference id the ocp im subscription key and in the body we have our callback url so when we make a post we're supposed to get 201 created so yes we get 201 created and this is the result which is one now for us to confirm that this user that we created actually as a what we have to do is to use this reference ID and then we open the get created user. So no authentication. Getting the user, what does it require? It requires this as reference ID, which is supposed to be up here. What did I paste? paste it. I think this is. Okay, so I'll just copy it and then come up here and then paste it there is reference id i just paste that and then the ocpi the subscription key is supposed to be here okay so now let me send it and 200 okay and if you check over here you see that the target environment is sandbox and then the provider callback host that we provided is this one is 85d when we check over here in the body it is where we sent the callback we are 85d all right, so we've now created we know that the 
the user APIs have been created because we, we are verified uh, by getting that created user. So let's move on to, um, with getting the API key. Now getting the API key, we need to paste our X reference ID, which is going to be the user ID. So I'm going to copy it right from here. Uh, command C to copy. I'm going to paste it over here. By the way, if this is new, you can check the playlist. We're going to start from the playlist. Uh, I've taken my time to explain creating of the sandbox user and all that. So this is not uh, new for this series. This is not the first time we're doing this. Inside the header, I'm going to go for the subscription key. And go back and paste it over here. So I send the subscription key and the user ID and the body. We don't send anything. And make sure we don't have this authorization thing, no auth, and then it's a post. So when we post, we're supposed to get uh, created, okay, which return the API key. We need this API key. Now that we have this API key, then we can uh, generate the API token that we can use to make that request. So I'll double click on it to open, and then copy this API key. And then in generating the token, we need to go to authorization and it uses basic authentication. So the API key is what we we'll use as a password. I just pasted this one and we need the username to be the user ID, the X reference ID that we use in creating that user. Uh, we'll paste it over here. So after pasting, what we need to do is to send the request, suppose, and then we get a, our access token here. So 200. Now that we have our access token, we need to submit it to the disbursement API. So in the disbursement collection, let's get an update the container so that we can always inherit. I've just copied it. And then I'll go back to the Momo collection and then edit and then go to authorization, there are token. And then uh, this key, I'll replace it with a new one. So I just replace it and I'll just update it so that all the collections that I'm creating here, they can have that one. Okay, so we have the sandbox collection. Let me create, let me quickly create a new one. So a new folder. Um, come on, come on. Create a new folder, add folder. We call it disbursement. So I just paste some description here. Oh, that, oh, I just created that folder. And the first thing that we're going to do with the disbursement, let's go back to the sandbox and then look for disbursement. 